Hi, this is Rick Rogers from Doomsday Tank Models. I'm going to be covering uh, just a couple subjects in this one. Hopefully make this a short one. This will entail a visit yesterday. My friend and I, Angela, went to uh, Fair Fairfield. And we visited what was named museum, American, American Armory Museum in Fairfield. It is, uh, it, it's, um, it's a small museum. And they have uh, some good pieces there, and I'll show you just a few. Also, I want to get into uh, decaling, and I tried another VMS product. I've had it for a while. I've just been stuck in a rut doing uh, what I normally do uh, with with other chemical products. And after watching a couple of VMS videos on these products and, and doing a test uh, on a model, I, I think I'm going to go with a new way. Just getting frustrated with the thicker decals and uh, maybe I have something worked out and also I have another idea for the the box and the plastic cover for when I have uh, open projects ready to paint um, I'll show you what I got gear what I got going there and uh, let's get this started okay just a few pictures of the American Armory Museum in Fairfield. That's uh, me and an American half track that Israelis used that was uh, refurbished, reutilized. Tons of machine guns on this on this vehicle. And that was a lot of fun climbing into. And also we had a they had a quad fifty in there. Very, very cool. And then um, Challenger, that's me hiding behind the tank. <laughs> um, a Challenger tank, they use this as a uh, car crusher. They have events where they uh, get cars donated from uh, demo yards and uh, they get some people out there and have a good time crushing cars. And this is what, since some of the things they have was kind of light as far as how many vehicles, I had a lot of fun taking rust pictures and variations of colors um, that that's a, a half moon mark from a toe shackle you can see it up there that's if you just flip it over it fits that mark perfectly and I thought that was kind of cool I've never seen that replicated so I'm gonna try that out little drips right there and that's it on that so now I want to let you know also that I have finished my version of the T44-122 and what got this all started was this photo. <laughs> I got excited and masked two kits together. These are the two kits I bashed together to make my version of the T44-122. Both Tamiya kits in 148 scale, the Russian heavy tank JS-2, uh, and the T-55 Russian medium tank. So those are the two that I put together. I think it turned out pretty well, at least uh, it turned out well for my taste. Um, the sleeping bags, the boxes, doing the, the wood grain into the wooden boxes on the on the side there. The camo scheme, I'm most pleased with myself on on this tank. And another side over here. Yeah, I, I just finally finishing this after putting it off, putting it off, finishing it, getting other projects going. I like the texture that I added on there. Anyway, it was just a fun project. Got the variation of the uh, Russian green on there too. So I'm pretty happy with that. I wanted to put this in there quickly too. You've seen before that I have these cases that I keep the dust off current projects. I also added to this a list now I'm putting on the top. Coming home from being out of town for almost two weeks, I really kind of forgot where I was. So I'm putting the dates here. Uh, second semi-gloss coat, 
Uh, the next day, decals. Uh, reapply Microsol for the decals, and then they set and finish. So that's where I'm at on this as of today, uh, June 4th. So that's just one idea I want to hit you with too. So the last one I wanted to hit you with, uh, I, I get some aftermarket decals from companies. This one's from Pettinghaus in Germany. And these are they're pretty thick decals, and it requires a, a better chemical. I normally use uh, Tamiya's Marker, Marker, uh, MarkFit Strong, excuse me. And, and then in between, I'll go to Microsoft for the, the stubborn ones that just aren't, aren't uh, adhering to the texture. So these have worked uh, very well throughout the years, and I've been reluctant to try something new. But after uh, that T3485 that I briefly showed you in the other shot, I wish I would have used VMS products after watching the films. I encourage you to go on uh, YouTube and look on the VMS. Um, I think they have a new owner, and they've went back and redid their videos with uh, audio now. They just, just, just have words on the screen, and it's better to hear someone talk about the product. It's so much more effective, so I'm glad they did that. This is a two-in-one decal set and soften, and it works very well. Just follow the instructions from the video. I was pretty impressed. Um, you will have some, some silvering, but it adheres very well. And then um, after you follow the instructions on that, and they have a, another product too. They have uh, the separate, the decal softener and decal set and fix. So you use this one first and then the softener to get it to adhere. And they have instructions for you on that. So after setting the decals, you're going to say, hey, Rick, it's silvering. That looks Oh, well, yeah. So <laughs> you want to follow that up with um, either varnish, uh, VMS varnish satin. But the mat is better if you're all set with it, if it's, if it's fitting right against the texture, you like the way it feels. Use the mat, and it gets to looking like this one here, the 412. Nice and flat versus this. You'll look, you'll get a little frustrated until you spray that on, and then more than likely you'll be thanking me that you tried this product. So I thought I'd just throw this out there, see if you guys are into trying something new. Of course, I always have the earbuds ready and, and a brush for the decals. You guys know about that. If you're just getting into it, uh, Cotton buds, all your friend. So anyway, this for the thicker decals particularly, they, but they could be for any decal. So just watch those films on uh, YouTube regarding VMS, and I really think you guys are going to like this stuff. Okay, uh, thank you for for tuning in again. If you watch this and, li and like it, please like and subscribe and share. Please, I'd like to see the channel grow. I really enjoy doing this uh, for you guys out there, and this hobby is fantastic. So I hope I could be a help of any kind in this. Uh, some people have asked me questions. It's been very uh, appreciated. I appreciate all you guys out there, and I, I just want to keep doing what I do. So if you have any questions, any comments, good or bad, if they're bad, try to be constructive. If not, I've got a thicker skin nowadays. So thank you again, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.